Yes, Amelia Miliacho. Okay. And who am I looking at? Yeah. Not the camera. Yeah. Okay. Third time back. Um, on your first round with you know, Eric Sheep in here and then your uh, new player, what do you think was the most important piece of advice you gave the player when going into the group? Yeah, I think a great piece of advice is if your irons are good, you're going to play well. I think that's really key on this golf course, especially because the greens are firm. And, you know, just being able to manage that, like course management, okay, if it's 150 to the back, maybe you're looking at a 140-yard shot, and if it's downwind, maybe 135. So just really strategizing is probably an advice I would give, but also just to soak it all in. Like, it's such a special event that – don't stress out too much about the golf and, and needing to make the cut because we all want to do that. Like, I want to do that, but you'll play well if you just really cherish everything about the tournament. How are the degrees? They're firm. They're definitely, I was like writing some out, writing out how far they're rolling out. And I think my six iron on the first hole probably rolled out like 15 yards, five iron, 15 yards, pitching wedge, you know seven to ten yards but it's consistent rollout so wedges stop relatively um relatively good so if you you know kind of are aware of that it'll be okay but it'll be hard you know to get some close consistently but then you may have some that will you know hit and kind of trek to the hole so you'll get some close ones if you manage it well Yeah, I think so. I think if you hit your drive a long way, it's a big advantage because the greens are firm. So if you're able to get an eight iron instead of a six iron, I think that makes a big difference. So I'm, I would say I'm like an average driver, so I'm not like super long, but I notice like Phoebe Brinker hits it a really long way and it helps. <laughs> It means so much and I think just hearing that and it's another just like reason on you know not to get too fixated on your golf swing or your putting just to really appreciate the moments of the event like being here for the third time like it's so cool um, and I'm so excited and just being here with all my friends you know I haven't played a lot of tournament golf or college golf so I haven't seen a lot of my competitors in a while and we're all really good friends and we all support each other we all want to beat each other at our best and we all want everyone to play well so it's a really good atmosphere and everything that Augusta National does and Champions Retreat makes it even better. Yeah, I think I'm a lot more mature emotionally. Um, you know, last year I was playing a lot of competitive golf. So I think the biggest challenge, you know, for me is just remembering, you know, I've played a lot of competitive golf. I play a lot of really good competitive golf and just kind of channeling that. Um, but I'm definitely, you know, I'm just a lot more positive, a lot more grateful and, you know, just not as hard on myself. I'm obviously, you know, have high expectations and, you know, want to hit good shots, but know that I'm human and, <laughs> you know, bad shots happen here or there and it's okay. Do you feel like you have an advantage on the rest of the field because of the perspective you've gained this past year? Or? Yeah, I, I think, you know, maybe, maybe it is an advantage. I think when you're playing a difficult golf course, you can't, you can't get too hard on yourself. You can't, you know, be so fixated on, oh man, I three putted or because, everyone, a lot of people are going to three putt. A lot of people are going to, you know, hit shots over the green or think they had a good shot, but it's either short or long just because it's difficult to manage. But I think anyone who's played the course before is going to have an advantage. And I think that's a pretty equal advantage. Like if you've, if you've played it before, you've played it two, three, like two times, like it, it's going to help. Yeah, of course. Um, I, you know, really want to be in the same position I was last year. Um, but if I want to be in that position, I can't focus on that. So just really trying to focus on each hole. I mean, Nellie Corda always says one shot at a time. And it's so key because if you just get too ahead of yourself, even on one hole, like already thinking about, you know, where you want to be on the green. Well, if you haven't hit your tee shot, you know, that's going to determine you know, how you're going to play the next one. So I think just really 
focusing that it's a long week and to really enjoy each hole and then the rest will take care of itself. Great, thank you. Yeah, you too.